Mike, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey with him. He's like that. This is my dog. Homie's going big. Yes, sir. Number one in the nation. Who is Mikey Williams? Mikey Williams is a name to know. They're kind of an all-court game, athletic. All eyes have been on him. Does anyone ever criticize you? People criticize me all the time. If you want to be the best, it's going to separate you from everybody else with the extra stuff that you got to do. Oh my God. Mikey Williams just dropped 50 points on the head, man. City came out, I had to give him a show. Turn me up! And this is only the beginning. <laughs> Look, I ain't got no bush prep school. That's one milli! In the whole world about to know my name. I'm here today, boy. I'm here today. 77! He's dropping 77 as a freshman. Of course he's going to the league. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. Baby. What's good? So who is Mikey Williams? Sit back. Got your popcorn. Enjoy the show. Where we at? Me and Cedro with it. I live like three miles from the border. Border boy. Yeah, the border boys. So. We just came up with it. Were you with me when I came with border boys? You can't be like another school like Southwest. Southwest. Yeah. They can't call themselves the border boys. It's like it's just for us. We right next to the border. Hey, will we get electric if we touch the fence? <laughs> it's crazy that we're actually like damn near touching another country. It's a whole nother world across that border over there. And a lot of people, you know, don't have jobs and things like that. You know, people just talk down on them, talk bad on them. I don't think it's right. I got a little bit of Mexican in me from my mom's side. We couldn't wear anywhere else in San Diego to do this photo shoot. We chose the border because we're the border boys. Well, you don't gotta be serious all the time, Jason. Smile. All right, here you go. It's a military product. Yeah. <laughs> Kaylin, he's a senior on our team, 6'5 wing. Yeah, that's the bro though. He be trying to be pretty well on the team. Southeast product, bro. P. He's another senior. Me and P grew up playing against each other and stuff. That's the general on the floor. He's kind of the glue of our team. Hey, I'm next. I feel like I'm on my brown vibe. Number one looks the best on the team. Yo, we gotta get the whole fit in there. Like, what's, look at the shoes I got on. We're playing our first game this offseason against Monta Vista. So it's gonna be a test. Bro, wait till 5 o'clock, bro. We're gonna be stupid, on, bro. Man. We're gonna be stupid. Preseason, everybody think it's just whatever. I gotta show people that I'm the guy. I don't really look at this pressure being in my position at this age, 15. I could have chose to go anywhere else in the country, chose to stay home, ride it out with my bros. And they're gonna be in the comments talking about, yo, Mikey overrated. He sucks, like they always do. I'm just trying to get the milli. So I'm on the verge of hitting a mill on Instagram. All the fame will come to price. I still got a lot of haters. A lot of kids won't be able to deal with it. It's one, two, three. Yeah. Four, five, six. Yeah. Um, I say going to the games is always kill, you know. I got a target on my back always. Throw it off like the right side of the backboard. I'm windmilling that. I was supposed to dunk that. We got off to a real slow start. We was missing wide open layups, alley oops. Get long on that! We're a young team, so we're still getting the groove of things. Make sure we stop the ball. Let's go, let's get after let's it. Put the ball in the basket. Get after the area. I want no missed layups on the break. All right, let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So I had to take over the game. An upperclassman. They don't got no problem with it. On any team, you get a ball to the best player when it's time for them to go to work. My opinion, I think I'm the best player in high school basketball. Out of confidence, not being cocky or anything like that. As of right now, I think I'm the best player in high school basketball. I'm not at Brewster Academy or Crossroads Prep School or IMG. You know, I'm at a real school with real people. We just put 100 on them dudes. We send a message to everybody out here. San Diego basketball is back. The fact that teams are asking us, why are you guys playing here? Wait a minute, we played here for 10 years. Now all of a sudden, we're supposed to go and hide because you don't want to lose to us? So we're going to enjoy doing what we do. But we just have to keep getting better at it. You know, CJ for the take over. Let's get out of here. One, two, three. CJ, four, five, six. Family. Right now it's 7.40 a.m. Who wouldn't want to look at this while they run and get better? I've always been running for like a while. 
like a couple of years, but last year I got serious with it. Waking up out of bed and getting up in the morning, it's probably the hardest part doing this, but I mean, when I get up and I start doing it, then I get locked in. Seems like yesterday I was a little kid playing basketball. Now I'm in high school, and in no time I'll be in the league. Time flies, so your grind gotta be different. Stay busy, stay working, build that platform, and treat every game like it's your last. When you wanna be the best, it's gonna separate you from everybody else from the rest of the pack, so it's the extra stuff that you gotta do. So I'm post for a million followers. You can ask anybody that's really been down there on the bottom with me, came a long, long way. Hitting a million is like a, you know, American dream. Everybody wants to hit a million followers. A million is not a big round number. It signifies. I'm not up next. I'm up right now. I'm about to go back home, probably take a nap. Get ready for this long day. We about to go to LA. Bro, we in Venice, bro. It's my first time here, but that shit let me play so I could shut it down, bro. Like on my Dykeman vibes. That's where the best street ballers come hoop at. Dunk contest today. A lot of IG dunkers in there. Everybody. Ooh. Oh. Bro, they tweaking, jumping on concrete like this. They introduced the shortest man in the competition. Bro, he's playing. He's not. He's not serious. Are you sure? He's playing, but he's not serious. I seen a lot of these dunks on Instagram and stuff, and they look crazy. Oh, I respect these guys. All right, let's keep it going. Let's go, fellas. You guys got two minutes. The dunks was cool and stuff, and then this guy stood on his chair and held the ball over his head. And I was like, what's about to, like, what's about to happen? Like, it didn't even look real. My man, my Bogan, a.k.a. Of course my phone ain't catch the dunk, man. Bro, is that? Yo, it's all, all of this is over the rim. I know we're near doing that, bro. Oh, oh, that's how y'all feel? You can get real creative with dunks. This is way bigger than, you know, scoring a touchdown or hitting a home run. I was thinking, I need to try one of these dunks. Maybe something I never tried before. I when I went back to San Diego, I went to the zone my guys. I went to try something new, and that's what happened. I don't even know what I did for real. I just like 360 behind the back, break my back, dunk it. He said, give me my meal. Give me my meal, give me my meal. What did that mean, give me my meal? It means give me my million followers. Posted on my IG as soon as I did it. And everybody started posting it, Boy Center, over time. I just knew when I sleep that night, there was a high chance. I could wake up with a million followers. Check and see how many he has. 998,000. Marvin, you could shoot him. Look at him. Mikey first or Millie first? Write it small, don't write it big. Shut That's up, Marvin. Love. You have the worst handwriting in the family, sixth grader. Alexa, how do you spell Millie? Millie is spelled M-I-L-L. Five. The candles are for how many followers he's about to hit. Oh. <laughs> I got the candles, you guys. I I'll handle this. We just waiting. That big number's approaching. Yeah, he got a mill. Ready? Ready? Yo, this is crazy. Marvin is clumsy. He could have woke Mikey up about how he fell. There was obviously water on the floor. Hey, Mike, get up. Get up, Mikey. Yo, yo. Look, look what Marvin sent you on Instagram. Check Instagram, bro. He lied. He lied. That's a meal. That's a meal.
Might just rip all the way. I just started running. I don't know where I was running to, but I was out of there. Oh. Oh. It's a meal. It's a meal. Where's your phone? I need, I need to see it again. Where's your phone? I need to see it again. Yo, that's an M. Same password. Yo. Ah! It's a meal! Turn me up! A million followers is crazy. I grew up in Southeast San Diego. My mom works at the hospital. My dad's a residential advisor. Have some great mentors now. One of them, LeBron James, kept grinding 24-7, and now I got a fan base over a million followers. Big dog! This means a lot to me. Just everything all together, the position I'm in itself, it just means a lot to me. Tell all my supporters, everybody rocking with me. I had to get on top of the Audi to let the world know. That's one milli! I'm only 15 with a mill. I had to call my dog. Come on, Kevin. Yeah, you do the vibes. I'm a net, bro. Where are you at? I'm pulling up on you right now. We always talking about going to Hollywood, son. Yo, you coming to the Hollywood, son? Yes, sir. Good deal. I'll be there in five minutes. Three hours? LA to work? Three hours. Three hours, LA. I'm coming. You dig? Hollywood, son. Hey, we ain't coming back. Basketball, I'm not doing it, you know, for the followers or for the fame or anything like that. I'm just doing it, you know, because I love to do it. We from the border to the Hollywood sign. So the Hollywood sign, that's where the stars go. My boy just hit a whole milli. Having a million followers isn't normal. It does resemble that you made it, but I haven't made it yet. I'm on the way to making it. I just got to stay humble, stay grounded, and keep pushing. Yeah, this is crazy, for real, for real. We traveled three hours to this sign. It was definitely worth it. It's the best view in Cali for sure. I'm in a whole nother world now. You dig? I'm out of the cage. I'm in a whole nother world, bro. I'm up here in Hollywood with the stars. What do you mean you're in a whole nother world now? Man, I don't know. It's like from the K to the M, it just like separates. It's like you step into a whole nother world. Like, it's crazy, man. Right. I'm flip you up. Come on. Got you. Hey, put it in portrait. Oh, that's horrible to sign in the back. That's what I got my over there. Oh. <laughs> Everybody gonna be like, yo, like it's just a million, blah, 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 whatever. But you know, I'm a kid, so I'm gonna be excited. And if they was in my shoes, they'd probably be even more crazy about it than me. Feel me? Hand and take. You dig? Hey, one milli, baby. We hit that, feel me? We murdered that. Had to come to the sign, you feel me? In a whole different world now. Gotta stay humble. Just cause you know you're a big player in high school, it doesn't mean to you know, give you a stamp that you're going to the league. And I learned that firsthand from my dad. We about to head over to Southeast San Diego, man. It's the hood, but uh, you know, it builds character. But if you're soft-hearted, it'll eat you up. I like to think we do have a beautiful city overall, but uh, there's places in this city that's rough. Don't let these palm trees fool you. Life without my parents, ooh, I wouldn't be here. That's for sure. I got a lot of partners of mine, man, that's never coming home. Uh, a lot of partners of mine that's dead, drugged out. I'm glad for my experiences that I went through because it helps me to teach my kid. I never had a dad there. My dad's a good mentor. He's been through this before. How many of these people over here you think part of your million followers? Maybe the older dudes. Well, oh boy, a million followers will make you go crazy. Make you think you're an internet superstar or something. I touch everything he says. I'm gonna keep real with y'all. I wasn't this good how you thought a kid. When I was younger, I did stupid stuff I shouldn't have been doing, had no business doing. I don't regret it because you have to learn from stuff. And if I didn't learn, I'd still be doing it. Just because you mess up, you think you can't make it, no matter what position you're in. You know, you can always grow out of it. We always got to stay humble, you know. Oh, uh, look at our old house. This is where I grew up at right here. Looking at the two houses, that one, the one I'm in now, so it's a hard. My parents work to put all of us in a better area, less worries. I used to dunk on Mike with the hoop. Nah, 
I used to give him the I used to give him the forearm elbow and dunk on him. Nah. Yeah, that's it's okay. He doesn't want to see me one on one no more. <laughs> see that rim down there? That's how I used to do rims like that. You ain't got there yet, Mike. I used to bend them all up. This was like a neutral zone. You know, over there you have the Bloods. Down here you got Crips, but everybody was able to come here and just play. I want you to be great, but never forget, I'm still the man in the family. What you doing, I was doing that. I doubt he was a basketball player. Everybody in the country recruiting me. People say he was better than me at my age. You know what I'm saying? At your age, I'd have busted your ass. I'd have locked you up. So understand where you got that talent from. <laughs> Give me the ball, man. You, you ain't ready. I ain't done with this. I'm done with it. I got injuries, dog. Uh, check up. <laughs> I got, check up. <laughs> check up. <laughs> <laughs> Love's about eight. He trained me like heavy. We used to actually uh, play against each other all the time. Oh, yeah, now he tried. Uh, he fouled me. And then uh, he started beating me. Like the fat daddy, boy. What? <laughs> I had about 12 or 13. We was bumping heads on the court. I knew I couldn't guard him no more. So I said I had to go on a plan for a year, get my weight right. Oh, nope. I'm about 10 pounds from wearing his ass out every day. Nope. Come on. Money. Get out of here. <coughs> Don't start coughing. <coughs> Don't start coughing. Man, I'm sick. That's what I lost. I'm sick. You want to back? All jumpers. <clears throat> All jumpers. All jumpers? All jumpers. All jumpers. Come on. It's all jump shots. I'm ready now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see that defense? You don't play D like that. There you go, one. Come on. Come on. I can live with it. Hell, nah, you gotta call Come that. On, I ain't gotta, gotta call that. Three up. You gotta call that. Yeah. King Kong ain't got shit on me, boy. <laughs> Come on. Ah. Four. This game time right here. I'm so proud of him. Still a lot of work to be done. Let me see one of those long range jumpers you be trying to pull in the game. You ain't got that in you. You want to get to the top of your craft, man. That's what you got to do. Mouthful. One game of peace, I live with that. Let's get on out of here, man. You know, my dad is right. I really should focus on playing ball. I really don't want to end up back where you were. As big as my name is, as I'm getting, I got to remember to stay humble. It's super hot out here today. Keep moving. Three. Where you going? Stop, stop, stop. If you got there and decide to be pretty, what's pretty about getting to the basket and drawing some contact? We're outside right now. It's volleyball season and they're occupying the gym, so we're out here. I'm just worried about not getting darker. If I get any darker, I'm not going to be considered light skin. Why do you want to be light skin? That's me, bro. Because I was born light skin. What are you talking about? Being outside, it makes us grittier, it makes us more hungry. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to fix that right now. Cut through and stay wide. We're going to get an open shot. Right here, stop, stop. Coach Tuck, he's been in San Ysidro for 12 years. He coached with my dad at Crawford. A lot of D1 players, a couple pros. He knows what he's doing. What was that? Tuck always expects to go hard. Ah, stop. We went and sent hard screens. Kalen, why'd you run off? He couldn't even set the screen for you. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. Why would you throw that? Stop, stop, no. stop. stop. Set the f Great! Let's go. If you don't go hard, we have punishment, so we do frogs. Every hooper knows that frogs ain't no joke. They'll, they'll make your whole body hurt. Hamstrings, back. Soft teams lose. I just saw ballers at a million dollar facility at a private school. I'm out here on the pavement doing frogs. Doesn't matter how tall you are, how fast you are, how smart you are, it doesn't matter. Anybody can set a damn screen. Coach Tuck's a great coach. He wants the best out of all of us. Are we ready? Let's go. Let's do this. After we hit the frogs, we locked in, started doing our stuff right. Good. Beautiful play. What a difference that made. We set some screens. Now we're getting whatever we want. That's really all it took to get us locked in how we're supposed to be. 
Damn, somebody's really getting some good. Who's, he said that again? Preston. Good job, Preston. That's how you earn minutes. Good job, good job. Last time San Isidro won the championship was a long time ago. There you go, bud. Very nice pass, Caleb. You're going to have to really be talking out there, OK? Because they're going to get a little more nervous when the lights are brighter. Coach is right when the lights is bright and cameras is out. A lot of kids freeze up. I see it all the time, so it ain't really nothing new to me. We want to win. We want to win everything. We want to be recognized as the best team in San Diego. And then we want to go to state, and we want to win state. Let's get out of here. These are on three, family on six. One, two, three. Zero. Zero. Five, six, family. My first high school game today. I'm feeling good this morning, actually. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't ever feel like this. I can't wait to be in these lead lines today. Putting on that jersey felt good. This is starting a new chapter. Uh -huh. Man, I've been waiting for this game since Mikey Williams came to the school. After Kayla went up, that's when it hit me. Number one, Mikey I don't want them getting no second shots. Make sure we're getting after them on defense. Focus in early. Let's be special today. Let's be special. As soon as the game started, it was a scramble. I caught the steal. It was just me in the rim. Oh, yeah. I'm about to punch this. Come on, Mike. Nope, dead legs. Game just started. I don't know what was wrong with him, but he was supposed to make it. We well, wasn't supposed to let the other team score. Overload right away and go zone A. After that, Kaylin caught a dunk. My shot was falling. And the next play, <laughs> Kaylin's a senior. You know, he's a big part of the team. I know I had to step up and be that guy. Dad in the crowd telling me to get my shot higher. I mean, he almost looking like me. I had to put the team on my back. I don't want to see them score in this quarter. You're good enough to stop them from scoring. We gave up 21. That's a little too much. I had 25 in the first. Second half, we just ran it up. We got easy buckets, fast breaks, everybody was flowing, playing together, and we clicked. I was at least trying to get 40. I dropped 43 points, the other team dropped 46 points. I almost outscored the whole team. That was a good start to the season. Pro guys in good hands with Mikey. We got the media coverage here. It's never been like this. And during the game, I was just in kill mode. But to play your first high school game in your hometown, in your home school. Very fun, you know, to put on for my city. To be able to do that for my first game, you know, hopefully I'll uh, play my last game here too. It's my city and I'm always put on. Marvin, hurry up. Where are we going? We're gonna cut that nasty fur off your head. It looks like your dad. I call shotgun. Marvin is 12. He's a little different from me, just off the fact that, you know, he doesn't leave the house. You know, when I was his age, I was always running around everywhere. It's really because he'd be on Fortnite all day. That's his dream to be like me. It's my guy Larry House. He got a barbershop in his garage. He called it the man cave. I've been coming here for literally forever. It didn't look like this though. This ain't like a barbershop. It's home in here. I probably done dumped on everybody at this house right now. You dumped on me? <laughs> <laughs> what are you dumped on? Kelvin. <laughs> Kelvin, look at your socks. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, hold up. I love coming here. You know, you get the barbershop laugh, conversation about sports, like any other barbershop. The difference is it's more of a home environment. And everything in here, boom, you gonna see this cat. Ali, all day long. I think my life is like a lot funner than everybody else. It's more than just who. It's like the behind the scenes stuff you don't see. Go Marvin. It beat that tyrant. <laughs> uh, oh, why would you Marvin? No, oh my. <laughs> Marvin, do a windmill. Or 360. Look at this dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Nah, bro. You, no, you were adopted, Marvin. You were adopted. 
Everybody asks me what kind of haircut I got. Tell your barber to give you the MW1. Marvy, Marvy, let's get it. I'm like always gone, so I don't really get to spend time with kind of any of my family. My basketball schedule is kind of crazy. Not a lot of people get it. Three, four hour practices, three, four games, two days during AU season, workouts. A lot of people really don't understand it, but it's a life that I live to put my family in a better position. Man, it's a graveyard of rims back there right now from the last time. I broke like six hoops over here. There's so much memories at this place that will last forever. <laughs> I'm glad I got to spend some time with him today. He's not representing the family like he should be, getting dunked on. Every time he picks up a basketball. That's my little bro, uh, family. If for some reason everything's in me. Give me that, D. Let me see that. I get buckets like that. If Mark keep it up, he'll be nice one day. I got Montana 300 put up on me. Let's go with you. If you don't know Montana 300, you better YouTube him. He said, keep the green on me like a Jets jersey. Tell the opposition I ain't never worried. Keep the 30 on me like I'm Stephen Kirk. Hey, that was hard. Hey, what's good? It's your boy Montana 300, man. Rap God, FG. I just pulled up to San Diego to check my boy Mikey Williams out, man. It's gonna be a movie. That's a fact. We play against Mission Bay tonight. 2,000 people in the gym. How many you gonna give me tonight, man? 40 ball. 40 ball? Woo! A couple months ago, Montana told me to send him my schedule. Two days before the game, I told him, yo, come out. You know, me and Brandon are going to play it back to back. He was like, I'm with it. I'll be there tomorrow. I flew from Chicago. North Carolina, I just did press run. North Carolina, South Carolina. And then uh, instead of going back home, flew on out. He ain't know it near my age or nothing like that, but you know, he's hanging out with me. Shout love to the young boys. I'm gonna get some footage today for this music video. Montana's not the only one that shows love. Drake shows love. Drake's commented on a few of my posts. Lil Dirk show love. Actually posted me in one of his pictures along with Melo, Zaire, and Brian. And he said if we wasn't in it, or right, for light music video, then he wasn't gonna release it. It's cool, you know, seeing rappers give back to the youth. We busting out our pink unis today, though. We got some pink Some pink joints? Get them crazy. Uh, even though I'm hanging out with one of my favorite rappers today, still gotta go out and get the dub tonight. We've been in this line for like three hours. How much is y'all to buy one ticket for? 200. We playing Mission Bay. We just gotta go out and play like C Drop. It's a way different crowd. It's way bigger than the last game. D Wade came out, Gabrielle Union came out, just the whole city was there. This is us coming out in our hot ass uniforms, with our hot ass shoes on, and showing this sleepy ass town. What's really going on? D-Way is here. He's a mentor to me. I knew I had to come out hot. This team was talking reckless all week on social media. I was feeling it. My city! He didn't think I was going to shoot it. As soon as he took a step back, clipped it right in his mouth. Even though I was on fire, Mission Bay came back strong. Oh. We was in a dog fight. I just knew I had to turn it up and then knock. Move, Prince! So I had to tell Prince to move if he ain't going to box up. I had to let him know twice. You know, I'm putting the body on someone, you out the way because I'm coming down the lane. If you ain't got a body on someone, get the hell out of the way. I'm going to come dunk that shit. Jerry had a layup, and I knew if he missed it, I was going to go get it. Everything was good till the other team started fouling. Chat, chat, chat! Come on, ref! Ref, come on, man! Foul after foul after foul. Oh, oh, get in game! Get in game! Why would you run away? Come on, ref! Get out of here! Get out of here! Fire! Ref! Damn, ref! The only resort was the foul. So they couldn't hold me to try to get my head out the game. I was part of the timeout because he realized what they was trying to do. Bro, this basketball is good. Take your time, Jack. Take that and get supported. Right now it's halftime, it's 48 35. I think he had like 18 of their first 22 points. I'm going crazy from the three. 
Controlling the game, under control, playing at his own pace. Killer, man. Y'all got, what, four years of this? Just, just him growing and developing, becoming a new monster is going to be crazy, man. After I hit the shot, Tope from Compton Magic called me over. He told me I had 48. Next play, I got the ball. The rest is history. I had to walk over to D Way. It's 50. That's 50. Amazing grace. How sweet. Good job, Mikey. The sound that saves a wretch like me. This may be coming up. Five fifty, huh? Five fifty. Was long, thank you. But now am found. Was blind. But now That game sent the message. You know, I'm living up to the hype that everybody puts on me. Do you like a lot of turkey or a little bit? Hey, 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 hey. Green, green, hey, hey, hey. Over time. Well, the ladies cooking up in the kitchen. The boys in the garage talking that talk. But ain't no way you stay giving without a hoop session. I don't care how young you are, how old you are, you can get this work. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> Look, bro. You suck. <laughs> don't do it, mom. Sorry, mom, but when you step in between those lines, there ain't nothing to me. No, no. Mom, 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 mom. Mom. Shouldn't listen to Marvin. You gotta get dunked on. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Ah. Do that to your mama. Disrespect. My mom found some letters I wrote to her and my dad from like years ago. Well, first one of these letters that my mom put out to my dad. Um, let me read it. It says, Happy Father's Day. Dad, I hope you take me to the gym. I'm sorry for playing basketball in the house. My punishment is 60 seconds in my room. <laughs> so last one to mom. When is the next time you are off of work? I want you to take me to the gym for two hours. Can I work on jumpers, layups, and free throws? and ball handles and crossovers too. <laughs> Can't believe she still had those. I always knew I had love for the game since I was a kid. I definitely need my family. They for sure keep real me, that's what family's supposed to do, you know, push you to be the best you you can be. <laughs> Overall, we had a great time. This is definitely a Thanksgiving I'm gonna remember forever. Central, middle of nowhere. Mike is gonna go for 50 on these boys. Uh, we trying to win this chip, and if we win, my mom says she got tickets for running loud, so I'm trying to turn up this weekend. Yeah! It was a packed crowd. And hey, number 12 says he's gonna hold 15 on him. He's tripping. It's standing room only in this gym. Yeah. Everybody from the valley, they came out. There well, was many people as possible, because gym couldn't fit everybody. So I think the Mikey effect started to kick in. The noise is gonna throw them off, so make sure we're rotating. First on our list, we got Barley, and they only lost one game in California. We can't get off to a slow start, and that's exactly what happened. We was missing wide open layups. Kai didn't come here to see that. Kai didn't come here to see us miss jump shots. Well, me being on the team, at times, brings a lot of pressure to my teammates. Last time I underperformed was, was the game in AAU season, and I just knew I couldn't let it happen again. Hey, camera.
man, come here, come here. Hey, he almost put that shit on his head, homie. I don't know how I missed that dunk. I should have just put it on his head. After that, my coach told us to go X. That's our full court press. I told my teammates go X and follow my lead. We about to turn up. We started getting steals to easy buckets, and we started trusting each other and believing each other. Stop just settling and start just taking easy buckets, making free throws, making layups. And Jason started us off by playing defense and making easy plays for us. They can't guard you, Mike. They can't guard you, Mike. They can't guard you, Mike. I was feeling it, and we already been here before. Out There's no need for me to fight the other team. Just got up, no need to complain to the rest. Ain't my job. No, ain't nothing new to me. You know that was intentional, dog. Guys, listen, let's just finish them off. We've got enough spectacular plays. We do not want to hurt ourselves out here trying to do crazy shit. We got another game tomorrow and then another game Saturday. Let's just make these layups, free throws, okay. and easy shots now, okay? I'm at 45 points right now. These kids in the Valley came to see me put on. I'm trying to go back to back. He's not just a dunker, bro. I'm telling you, man. Uh, yes, sir. 50 balls, sir. Back to back 50 balls. The atmosphere was crazy. Down here, you don't get stuff like that. It's just a little small town, and I hope they come back and ball out and just keep succeeding. That 50 felt too easy. I really got to slot tomorrow. They're going to be disappointed. Can we go out the back door? Is there a back door? I'm getting mobbed by kids. I had to sneak out the back door. We go out the back door. It's crazy. I'm still a kid myself. Come on, the Cavs won the finals. Oh, yo, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we see you. Hey, hey, hey. Mikey. Mikey. Hey, 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 Hey, one picture, one picture. One picture. Oh, yeah, let's go. Hey. No, no, no. Oh, just Mikey, just Mikey, please. Mike, Mike. Oh. Mikey, that's right. Mikey! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Get it! Thank you, thank you! Yeah, my boy. Right, it was actually fun. Oh. That's right, that's right. And we love you, Mikey, we love you, Mikey. We had some downtime for the game tonight, so I went go kart on my man, guys. I'm nice with it, bees. Hey, I'm about to hit my head, bro. Yeah. I refuse to go on this ride, bro. You see this? You see how this goes? Yo, what is she doing? Yo, she about to cry. Oh, boy, we got a game. That shit snapped. I'm dead. I have a future. She can't drive. She can't drive. Michael, we almost scared to get on a Ferris wheel? Yes. <laughs> right, oh. Bro, don't do yeah. that, bro. I'm don't not do doing that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting no buckets tonight. Oh, it's overtime, man. Doing stuff like this is rare. Um, it's fun to know, but the court's really my happy place. It's always just been around me. It's like in my blood. You know, I've always used it as an outlet. I still do, you know, to take my mind off of things or if I want to get out the house and just go somewhere, you know, I just go to the gym. Nobody got to bug me to get up. I just do it on my own. Got to work to get to the NBA. People say I'm the best teenage hooper since LeBron. I can't let everybody in the Mikey's world. I'm human just like everybody else. That's why celebrities are often private and guarded so they can protect their image. I'm experiencing this firsthand at 15 years old. It does feel good getting off the court though. I'm not even gonna count. Like we live on the court. It's, it's a major time. time. Yeah, facts, bro. But like, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, shit. Oh.
Right about the game tonight, bro. Lane Revenge game. game. Oh. Boy, he's a lame. Oh. You cannot hang. You can't play our game. Nah, that's trash, bro. I was all off beat, bro. <laughs> I, was all, I was all off beat. This is exactly why I'm not a rapper and I'm a hooper. This is horrible. Like, can we even rap on beat? If I make this, I'm gonna have a good game. Oh, yeah. It's a wrap Me and my coach was talking about breaking the scoring record. We thought that that'd be the perfect game to break it. Got to Imperial. It's even more packed than the first night. My mindset going into that game was to break the scoring record. Back to back 50 balls wasn't enough. Go in the locker room, talk to my teammates. I'm done saying statements. I'm going to war with any high school team or player that wants smoke. This game was a game. Years ago, my boy Tyrone Shelley set the scoring record at 76 points. Coach Tuck coached him, and my dad coached him as well, so I grew up around him. Said we played Kearney. I don't know too much about him, I just know they got something coming for him. We started off slow, we was missing wide open dunks in the first quarter. If I'm trying to break the scoring record, I can't be missing easy buckets. But for some reason, nothing was falling for me. My teammates was killing. Started that quarter off bad. My legs wasn't in it. I think I was just thinking about it too much. But Jane, he was doing his thing. You gotta have teammates like that to have your back. We forced him to call the timeout early. Coach just told us to hoop and respect the game, and that's when it hit me. I was just thinking about it too much. That was my turn. My shot was on point. I went off. It's basketball shit, I really live for it. Every time I step on the floor, I gotta throw up. If I want something, I'm gonna go get it. The scoring record, I've been waiting for me. It got my name all over it. I only had 24, 25 at halftime. So third quarter, it just clicked. And I was just going to work. Going to the fourth quarter, I had 60. He was about to take us out. He didn't think I'd get 16 more points because it was a running clock the whole uh, quarter. So I was like, nah, coach, like, leave us in, come on. Like, this was a plan. Like three minutes left in the quarter. I go over to my coach, tells me I have 74, so all I need is a three. I get it, the ball I call for a screen. And I come off the screen and just let it go. And when I shot it, it didn't even look like it was going in. It looked, it was off, so I was like, damn. So I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get another chance. As it got closer, I was like, wait, wait. Go over to my coach, tells me I have 74, so all I need is a three. And when I shot it, it felt good, but it didn't look good. As it got closer, I was like, wait, it just went in. <laughs> After I hit the shot, I went straight to the camera and said 77. 77! So the world can know. Kobe and Wilt are the only two players in NBA history to score over 77. That's a crazy number. You see me now, imagine me four years from now. We're gonna be in 
a whole nother level. Are you satisfied yet? Never satisfied. Hey. I just broke the scoring record. It's crazy. When, when Tyrone set that record, it takes some hell of a teammates to uh, to let their teammates have an extraordinary Good. moment like yeah. that. Yeah. I love you, brother. You have dudes right here that'll walk and run through a wall for you. I love you guys. So as long as you keep exhibiting those same type of traits to them, you guys are up for great things. Appreciate you guys, bro. We're This picture out is gonna go on Union Tribune. Put your jersey back Where's on. Where's your number one? Oh, oh. It's a, hey, it's a historic picture. It's gonna go to the Union Tribune, man. Don't be out there in a weeder. After the game, there was no sneaking out back doors. I gotta give the people what they want. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Kids was lining up. Security had to rope it off. Dropping 77 as a freshman, of course he's going to the freaking league, dog. I'm starting to stay a whole hour to sign autographs and take pictures. After he dropped 77, I waited a whole hour to get this autograph, homie. I never asked for autographs when I was younger, but I know that it'll be cool for me to interact with, you know, the kids that look up to me. Hey, yeah, Sergeant, pick, you wanna pick? I think the kids felt great, you know, just seeing the looks on their faces and while I was taking pictures with them, you know, shaking their hands and talking to them, you know, it was really cool. Overtime, baby. Let's go. Nice, nice. Hey, so we're going to record, baby. I set a scoring record last night, but we still haven't accomplished our goal. We're here to win this tournament. Hey, hey, this is shit. Hey, let's bring this shit on. Come on. We play against Valhalla, and for sure, we're going to get this dub. Try to blow these I'm going to run it out. If it's still, I'm going to turn up. Trying to go to run it out, okay? There's a festival in LA tonight called Rolling Out. So I'm trying to catch this dub and hit up north. Get out of here. P, hit me on the inbound. Go ahead. I'm going to grind to the day they put me in the ground. Hey, I got my legs back, boy. I'm good. I got my legs back. I'm good. We made coach and Navy that proud. We public school kids, we border boys, we build it our way. Now it's time to head to LA and see what Rolling Loud got in store for us. We just pulled up to Rolling Loud, trying to get lit. Rolling Loud makes the motherfucking noise! There's me, Kaylin, Felix, and Shay. Can't go nowhere. Can't even enjoy myself. People always take pictures with me. My friends don't get annoyed by my fame, but they're used to it. Sometimes I tell them to come up in the picture. This is my first time in a concert. I love music. Music is cultural. You know, without music, the world would be lame. All the top artists like the baby perform later, so right now we gotta listen to some garbage. This is what y'all wanted, right? Oh, get his ass off the stage. Hey, go get his ass off the stage. I'm always hooping, so I've never gotten a chance to go to a concert. I'm not gonna make it. We waited so long. We waited a cool hour for Stunna Full Vegas. Cool oh, hour. My time is limited, so while I'm here, I'm just trying to see my favorite rappers. Hey, it's brick. It's brick out here. It got real cold. This wind is different. It's cold. I should have like three layers. I should have worn my babe jacket over there. Five minutes till Stunna Full Vegas. When I say four, I'm about to go live. The wait's finally over. It's big four times in the building. Four times. Four times. Four times. Come on, come on, come on. 
Come on, come on, come on. 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 I just seen people jumping around and pushing each other. I'm like, oh, so they're forming a mosh pit right here. So at first, the vibe was off and the vibe was weird. So I was like, but what is it? Like, so this, and it was like, open it up, open it up. Roll that, open it up, roll that. P said, open it up. P said, back it up like that. I hop in, someone else hopped in me in a random, I don't know who it was. We started turning up. Jack up. Hey, 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 hey. I don't really turn up like that. I just be chilling. But it's great to get after it like this. Why was it so lit? It was lit because, like, it's done it. Like, it's big full time. Like, you see him perform, like, live and everybody turning up. Like, it was just cool. <laughs> and that's good content, man. Get that content, yeah, baby. I really came out here for Chop. Chop show love. Y'all talk? Yeah, I just talked to him like last night. He was supposed to give me backstage tickets. As soon as he got on stage, I tried to get his attention. Tell you know I me, mean? let him know I pulled up support, but it was hard to get his attention with like thousands of people here. I was just like, forget it, like here's some stuff and start turning up. I went crazy. Chop was doing this thing, you know, he had the little dance moves and all that stuff. I don't know what he did, he was like. <laughs> Finally, he see me, I was on live, and he had jumped off the stage, and he came and said, what's up? <laughs> then he jumped back on the stage. He had the crowd turned up, he was turned up, energy was just up there, you know. After a while, he had called me on stage, he told the security guard. So when he called me up, I was like, hold up, I'm about to get on the stage and perform then. We finna be like this, turned up, everybody in the background. I felt like when he did that, I'm not gonna lie, I thought when LeBron was at Drake's concert, he was turned up on the stage, that was tough. So I jumped up, I'm about to get on the stage. Then as soon as I hit the corner, the security guard stopped me. Bro, the security guard blew my entire move. I don't know what he was doing. He was on some weird stuff, bro. He was trying to talk about I couldn't go up there and this and that. After that, I was just trying to go home. That don't, that don't happen every day. Me and Chopper, we like the same age, and I could relate a lot to him, especially through his music. There's a lot of hate and adversity in the world, and us being so young, you know, we talk to each other a lot about it. It would have been great to share a moment like that with him, especially on stage. Mike was upset, but I had to talk to him a little bit. I told him we have to go back over there and just have fun, enjoy your friends. You know, shit was right. So as I was walking back, trying to find uh, Kevin and Felix, the DJ was like, Chop. Hey, Chop, we gotta see where your day one fans at right quick. Like, where Chop's day one fans at? Hey, baby, baby, baby. So when he said that, I know exactly what they was gonna play. They was gonna play that shot of flow. So the DJ was like, I need the mosh pit. This was way better than best days for me. Ain't was from the time we having fun. I'm the king of the mosh pits. Every mosh pit, I'm in a circle. Chubb was lit. After that, he came off the stage again to show love and stuff. Hey, hey, bro, we chopped it up for a quick second. It was really my guy. For the next performance, we got the baby. The baby, one of the hottest rappers in the game right now. Let's go get in the middle of this. Ain't no getting to the front of this. Let's try to. We bum rushing through everybody. Come on. Yo, this is crazy. And there's more security. We're trying to get over into the main stuff. We bucked off by a gate, man. You're not letting us through. 
There was so many people there, and they had gates that was cutting people off. Hey, hey, jump right now. Hey, I'm trying to get my friends to jump over. I already jumped over this. We turning up for the baby. I was like, yo, P, bro, let's do it. Let's go. Remind me of when I was younger, hopping the gates and fences at the park. Come on, P, jump, come on. Not here, not here. Kalen was so scared, he thought we was gonna get arrested if we hopped the fence. Bro, you know you're not gonna stop all of us, man. security. Felix and Kalen was taking too long, so I was like, forget it. Go, 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 go. We lit, we lit. Come on, B. Yes, sir. When I hopped over that fence, that moment, I felt free. You ready to see the baby? We were so far from the stage, but that wasn't gonna stop me from turning up. Turn me up, P. Turn me up, P. Of course, my goal is the NBA, but I'm not in no rush, you know. I enjoy being the kid I am, and I'm just gonna be proud to say that. Open that up! Open that up! Basketball is gonna stop one day. You have to balance out your life. It's not much time if you think about it. Life is too short not to have fun. You can take out all the hype behind my name. You can take out the fame. You can take out whatever you want, but I'm still gonna be the person I am today. You know, the last couple months been crazy. I had a million followers on Instagram. Shout out all my supporters, everybody that rocking with me. That's one milli! I started my high school career. Oh, Dropped 50 in front of a legend. Which legend you coming out? Like 50, huh? Like 50. Setting the ultimate record in the San Diego section. 77! I started mosh pits with my guys. Couldn't do it without him. Stay tuned. We're coming for heads. Oh! oh I'll take that check. I'll take that check. Yeah, I'm in my iced tea. Yo, in my iced tea. Yeah, I'm in my iced tea. Yo, in my iced tea. Click the link in my yo. Yo, cut that iced tea. And check out the videos right here and subscribe. Come on, dog.